Hi friends, here's my recap of Watchtower Study Article 18, which will be studied at Jehovah's Witness online Zoom meetings the week of July the 5th, 2021. This is an interesting one, friends. I had posted a shot of this title on the community tab of YouTube and got some really interesting comments. Check it out. Will you stumble because of Jesus? I wanted to thank one of my viewers who sent me this really cool, cool um, slide background um, of, uh, of a forest, a picture of a forest. Really, really nice. Thank you, my friend. So I want to explain how Watchtower is pulling this completely out of context in order to blaspheme and mock Christ. You see, they are implying that, that, that people were stumbled because of something that Christ did. Will you stumble because of Jesus? Let me give you an example. Let's say that there is a, a Christian church in your town with a, with a prominent preacher that everybody likes. And one day this preacher goes out and he uh, goes to a local bar and gets really, really drunk and he stumbled, he stumbles all the way home and everybody knows about it. Well, those people who are not Christians, could they be stumbled because of that? Because of the behavior of this pastor? For instance, another instance is I myself. I claim to be a Christian and I really have to be careful sometimes. I certainly would never want anybody to be stumbled, drawn away from Christ because of something that I say or something that I do. Let's say in response to some of the really negative and threatening comments that I get. Sometimes I really would like to respond to them but I don't because I would never want anybody to be stumbled or drawn away from Christ because of something that I do. So let me ask you, when you see this Watchtower title, will you stumble because of Jesus? What do you think? You think that maybe something that Jesus did stumbled a person that drew them away from him, but that's not at all what happened. Let's quickly put this into context. Matthew 11, you see John the Baptist had been put in prison and sent a messenger to ask Jesus if he was the Christ or should they wait for another. John must have, like everybody else, thought Jesus was going to save them from the Roman occupation. But that was not the case. Jesus wasn't to come. He didn't come to save them physically. He came to save them spiritually to die for their sins. So Jesus answered the question in verse 5, The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor of the gospel preach to them. And here's verse 6, that watchtower cited in the title. And blessed is he who, whosoever shall not be offended in me. So friends, let me ask you, do you think that people were stumbled because of what Jesus did? People were stumbled because he healed people, because he gave the blind sight. No, friends, that's not the context of the verse at all. Jesus is the only way to the Father. No person was ever stumbled because of something that he did. However, they stumbled on him. Look at Isaiah 8, what's underlined. He is a stone of stumbling and for a rock of offense, verse 15. And many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and be taken. Romans 9. Behold, I lay in Zion, or Jerusalem, a stumbling stone and rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Listen, friends, people were not stumbled because of Jesus. People stumbled over him in their effort to get to God their own way. Christ says he is the bridge. He is the one that people must go through in order to get to God. But people who are not willing to put their faith in Jesus Christ, their Savior, the one who died for their sins, stumble over him. He's the rock. They stumble over him. They trip over him in their way to get to God. That's what the verse is about. But let's get into this Watchtower article to see what Watchtower says and how they apply it to themselves, because you know that's what they always do.
Paragraph 4 says, in this article, as well as in the following one, we will examine a number of reasons why many in the first century did not put faith in Jesus. We'll also see why many today allow themselves to be stumbled. Right from the beginning, does it really matter why people did not put their faith in Jesus? What matters is that he died for them and that he accepts people as they are. Don't stumble over that rock. Don't trip over that rock in your attempt to get to God. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. It's that simple. Listen, friends, people rejected Jesus because he was the light and they refused to believe. John 8, 12 says, he says, I'm the light of the world. And in verse 36, what's underlined, while ye have light, believe in the light that you may be the children of light. But Verse 37, but though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not. Verse 43, for they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. That's why people rejected Jesus, friends. Not because, as, as paragraph 5 says, he was from Nazareth. Look at the first box there. They admitted that Jesus was an amazing teacher. Watchtower loves to diminish who Jesus truly is. He performed miracles. He raised people from the dead. He healed them of their illnesses and he forgave their sins, which only God can do. So paragraph five implies that people were stumbled because of Jesus, because he was from Nazareth. And then they claim, they cite when Nathaniel one of Jesus' disciples said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Well, listen, Nazareth at the time really was such a small little country bumpkin town. It had just maybe a dozen or so families with maybe 200 people in it. It was extremely insignificant. And one would think the Messiah would come from a um, significant area, right? But listen, Nathaniel wasn't stumbled because Jesus was from, from Nazareth. It was just something that he had mentioned. Anyway, let's move on. Paragraph six implied that because people didn't have the facts that Jesus was born in Bethlehem, then they were stumbled. But where in scripture does it say that people were stumbled because he was from Nazareth? Look at paragraph seven. Jehovah's people are viewed as uneducated and ordinary. How insulting. How insulting. Still others have been told that the witnesses do not accept Jesus. Well, they don't. They don't accept him for who he, who he was. Watchtower admits that Jehovah's people have been labeled communists, American spies, and extremists. Because people don't have the facts, they're stumbled. But we have the facts because we do go back in their literature to Rutherford's days and we see what was printed and the rhetoric and all that was uh, written to the publishers. We have the facts, friends. This is just nonsense. Paragraph eight provides the solution to being stumbled. Examine the facts and look at that in the box. The ancient Bereans make another appearance in Watchtower literature. Weren't we always told that we were to behave like the ancient Bereans who examined the scriptures to make sure that everything was true? But that's such a lie because every one of us knows that if we doubted the organization, God's channel, that we were going to be disfellowshipped and shunned in a heartbeat. The final box at the bottom, they say, they must compare what they are taught by hmm, God's people with what the scriptures say. But isn't that what I do in every single one of my videos? The purpose of my channel is to replace Watchtower Lies with the truth. Whatever I say on my channel, I back up with scripture. It's right there to be read, friends. It's right there so that you can accept the rock, Jesus Christ as your savior, and not stumble over it. Yet I'm referred to as an apostate or as one viewer recently called me, a pathetic disciple of Satan. So this box there on the left sums it all up. Many were stumbled because of Jesus's background, his refusal to perform showy signs, his rejection of some of their traditions, and his lack of interest in political issues. How could the same thing stumble some today? Where does scripture say 
that anybody was stumbled because of this. Now, of course, Watchtower is going to go in and compare the modern day Jehovah's Witnesses with those who stumbled over Jesus, okay? So the top of paragraph 11 says, many are impressed by the great cathedrals containing priceless artwork and clergymen with high sounding titles. The middle box, they claim that their kingdom halls are clean and functional, but they're not extravagant, nor are their doors even unlocked at this point in time. And then lastly, they say that many are stumbled because they think that our way of worship is too simple. That's such a lie. Nobody really cares about their manner of worship. It's what they believe and what they teach, friends. Paragraph 14 is interesting in the box. Jesus was right in condemning human traditions that did not harmonize with the scriptures. Those who put man-made rules and traditions above the scriptures rejected Jehovah and the one whom he sent as the Messiah. Wow. Just wow. Paragraph 15 says that people become upset because Jehovah's Witnesses do not celebrate Christmas and birthdays. The rest of the article goes into more nonsense that the witnesses are not allowed to do. Paragraph 19, um, many are stumbled because of our neutral stand. They expect us to vote. Down below that, what's underlined, people may also feel that we should build schools and hospitals as well as perform other charitable works. How about some charitable works, like other churches, like other organizations? They perform no charitable works. They claim that when we they go into these areas, maybe disaster areas, that they provide for the community that experienced hardship, but they don't. They provide for themselves. They always have, and they always will. And really, does the organization even support this? Or is it from donations from the local brothers? This is just too much. Anyway, this that's it. That's really all I have um, to say about this paragraph. Friends, don't stumble over the rock on your way to find spiritual enlightenment. There is no way to God other than going through Jesus Christ, who died for the sins of mankind. When mankind fell in the garden, they no longer could get to God because sin separated them. That spotless, perfect lamb of Jesus Christ had to die in order to bridge that gap. And friends, I just wanted to mention the book that I wrote. It's a 30-day devotional. The goal of my channel is to replace Watchtower Lies with the Truth, and that's what I've done in this. 30 days, simple lessons. Um, each day you get um, a truth about yourself. You are free from sin and um, gives you a verse, commentary, and then a place where you can write, how does this truth affect your beliefs about yourself? Consider this, friends. You could go to my website, jwscape.com. Link's down in the description box. It's also on Amazon. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you. Have a great day.